qui a casa mia a via Porto Gruaro c'è l'amico Hans, no, anche meglio noto con, eh, agli amici Hans Strait, sto, eh, so pronunciare <ride> bene Molto il bello. tuo cognome. Di... Perfetto. Oh, vabbè, diciamo che è un'intervista chiaramente destinata ai numerosissimi amici che Hans ha nel mondo, oh, poi magari semmai faremo la stessa intervista anche in inglese, in modo che sì. se qualcuno in Sudafrica non, lo, lo è... non, non si può fare dopo i sottotitoli. Oppure, oppure lasciamo i sottotitoli. <ride> oppure uh, we, can, we can do the conversation both in English and, uh, and in Italian. Ok, no problem. No problem, yes, because uh, uh, surely my English is very understandable by It Italian is. people. Um, yes. because of my accent, Italian accent. But your accent is not bad for yes. Italian. Thank, thank you, thank you very much. And uh, anyway, anyway, uh, um, you every every year you you come here in Rome, you no? Know, in this period, uh, how come? Uh, I know since uh, 1979 the movement of the Focarini and uh, uh, that means that since then, since 1980, I've been coming regularly to, uh, <coughs> to the center of the Focarini movement for a retreat, <coughs> an annual retreat, mm -hmm. as an international meeting together with other priests who belong to the Focarini movement. So that's why, and uh, of course, Then I worked also from 92 to 96 in Rome. I worked in the Vatican. I was living in Rome in an apartment together with other priests. And in that period, already, I believe it was Christmas 92, we met outside Rome. In And Casa Gandolfo, no? No, the two of us, we met in, in Veroli. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Well, yes. I was absent minded. Yes, yes, yes. yes. The first time, yes, we yeah. met in, in Veroli, yes. And uh, then we started seeing each other very often here in Rome. So this whole combination, my belonging to the Fograda movement and getting to know you and through you and many other people in Rome and outside Rome. So I have many reasons to return to Rome. Yes, yes, because you have a, a lot, a lot of, uh, of, of, of friends. Yes, uh, yes, yes. yes. Uh, um, um, in... in uh, Uh, throughout uh, the globe, throughout yes. because yeah. uh, you you yeah. made uh, a lot of uh, travels, no? Yes, yes. But uh, the the long period uh, you spent uh, in abroad, abroad, uh, yes. I mean outside the Europe, because you are yes. abroad here. No? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, outside the Europe was, uh, if uh, I'm not mistaken, in uh, South Africa, no? That's right. That's correct. Because also at those meetings of the Fograra movement with other priests. I got to know uh, Gerard Hutting, a South African priest of the Diocese of Johannesburg. <coughs> And when I came to, uh, to that meeting of priests in the year 2000, January, no, sorry, it was not January, it was ge not 2000, January 2001, uh -huh. Gerard was also attending that meeting. And then I asked him if it would be all right to come to his place in Johannesburg. Because in that period, I was staying here for a while mm -hmm. in, uh, it was still in, uh, in Veroli for several months. So, and already in 96, to be honest, I had the plan to go to visit him there in Johannesburg. But that didn't work out, but then later, I met him again, I asked him, and then I had the opportunity to go and visit him in South Africa. And uh, I enjoyed it a lot. I could stay there for about seven months. And uh, then I, I had the wish to carry on working there. But therefore, I had to return to Holland and speak to my bishop in the Diocese of Rotterdam. And I explained him, explained him the whole situation, and then he agreed. <laughs> And then I had to apply for the work permit mm -hmm. in Holland, the South African Embassy. It didn't take long because I got that work permit already on the 8th of December 2001. And then January 
2002, after I attended here the meeting of the priests, I left again for Johannesburg and I stayed there until December 2008. Yes, yes, uh, I'm out of bed, no problem.